Want to know what hazards to watch for in the wasteland? Get restocked loot, and properly defend your settlements. And you've tuned into Fallout 4 Tips and Tricks, where I teach you three tips and or tricks that can help you survive in the wasteland. Tip number one is tactical hazards. Now you want to watch out for these because they can both benefit you slightly and also harm you slightly. Right here I shot a gas pedal on the ground and it caused a chain of events that caused two, two cars to explode and a bunch of other things. Here there's another gas pedal that actually started spreading all the way up to here and you'll want to watch out for those. Now here you might not see what the problem is but you might hear or kind of see a little shimmer. Uh, there's actually a gas leak in the room and shooting it will cause a fire. So you want to be very careful when watch out for those. These are the little gas puddles. Those are easy to see. Just a little rainbow splatter all over the ground. Very recognizable. Watch out for those. Use them for your own advantage like against red roaches. In here you can't tell what the hazard is. But if you look closely or flip on your flashlight you can see like little ripples. You want to get out of there because if an enemy shoots there with a ballistic based weapon that's gonna happen. And it might not kill you but it might damage you. And the, the most obvious, don't hide behind cars like this. It, it just, no. You'll probably blow yourself up. Tip number two is restocked loot. Uh, in Fallout 4, I think, uh, I don't think it was actually in the previous games, but in Fallout 4, if you go to a new building and loot it and come back some other time, you can get the loot again. It's gonna be different, completely randomized, but I've been in this place three times and gotten loot out of this safe in the desks and whatnot, about three times. Same with this church, you know. I've gone in here, the, the safe's been relocked and everything, and all the cabinets have been refilled with caps, ammunition, pencils, what, whatever, you know, you can find. And it's actually very beneficial if you go to certain areas. Now with restocked loot, it also means restocked enemies. So say you go to a certain building full of super mutants, uh, that building's gonna be full of super mutants again if you come back later, most likely. And new loot, though, so you might want to go through it again just to uh, get more ammo, more supplies, more more of whatever you want really. Uh, it's really great because in the other games I don't think loot ever got restocked and I think like all the safes would never get restocked. I think if you went to like a cabinet and picked out a pencil or something you'd probably come back and find another pencil, I don't know. But really it's actually quite beneficial and I I don't think, I think people kind of uh, miss this. I'm not too sure but I'm glad that this is actually in the game to be able to get more loot, caps, and etc. So finally, the third tip is how to properly defend your settlement. As you can see, Finch Farm is completely defended. There's no uh, caution signs. Uh, we have 12 food and 10 water and 4 people with 24 defense. How defense works is the water plus the food and a little bit extra for the people. So in this case, we only need 22 defense, but we have 24, which is good. And then a little extra for the people. In Grey Garden, there's no defense, and we have 29 food and free water. We're probably going to need like 32 defense, plus a little extra. Sanctuary Hills, we're going to need a little bit over 40, plus a little extra for the people. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to Mark V2 Gaming.